Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an experiment on how to fix a rusty gas tank using a very cheap product. So I'll tell you all about it, tell you what we're gonna do. Stick around, let's find out. Okay guys, I know there's lots of ways how to fix, you know, remove rust from a gas tank. I came across this um, from a good friend of mine. I actually saw it on a video of his, The Lawnmower Detective. Uh, go check his channel out if you haven't already. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Um, but he, sh he led me on to a product called The Works. You can pick this product up at the Dollar Tree, um, maybe some other dollar stores, but pick this bottle up for a dollar. Um, it's a toilet bowl cleaner. It's called The Works uh, Classic Clean Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Uh, he did a video on it, um, doing the same thing I'm about to do now. Um, it was actually off of a tiller of his as well. Um, the, the, the gas tank was super rusted. Um, just like just like this one here, it's it's the same style. Um, you know, it's one of those pulse jet, uh, vacuum jet, carburetor type um, fuel tanks, and it was just completely rusted. And so, kind of based on his recommendations, um, we're going to give that a try today and see how it goes. So let's try it out. Okay, guys. So as you can tell, uh, you might have seen it when I showed this a minute ago, but this carburetor um, it's been sitting in there this this tiller's just been sitting for a while um, you can see right here um, the pickup tube is just split all the way down um, it's cracked all the way down here as well so we'll be replacing all that I may do a video on that how to do that but the fuel tank itself is just very rusted um let's see if i can get you in there you may not this might not work out very well with my lighting but try to get you some good shots you can kind of see it there Get a different light. It's going to be pretty difficult to see. Well, just trust me on this one. The whole tank is like that, if not worse, the farther in you get. So I wish I could get some better view. I'll try this. Here we go. A little bit better maybe. But the whole tank is like that. You know, they have that big sponge in there. Um, sponge type deal. That's just completely rotted out, completely gone. And the, the whole sides, all the metal material on this tank is just rust. So picked up some of this, the works from the Dollar Tree. And what we're gonna do is we are just going to dump it in, let it sit. And see how it goes. Probably we'll need to put some nuts or some rocks, some you know river rock or something in there and shake it around for a bit. It's typically kind of what I've done in the past with whatever I've done, but we'll just let this sit for a few hours, let it work its magic, see how it goes. I 
I take this cap off and do it without the little spray bottle or spray nozzle. That's her getting up underneath the toilet bowl ring. I don't know, maybe the foaming action will help it out too. Okay, one bottle down. I bought three of these. That's all they had actually. It seems to be a pretty good product. Can't keep it on the shelf. I don't know if people like it for their toilet. Maybe it's all the mechanics buying it for their projects. Or maybe it's just a good all-around product. People like it. For an all-purpose cleaner. Not all-purpose cleaner, but... Two bottles down. Get this last one in there. Get some up here just in case we run out. Whoops. Oak. Got three bottles of that stuff in there. We will let it sit for a few hours, take a look at it, see how it's doing, and we'll be back, show you the results. All right, guys, so here we are. It's been a few hours, uh, probably about uh, three hours now, three or four hours. Um, I just shook it up, that's why the tape's over this. I just shook it up with my hands. Um, I say hands. What else are you gonna shake it with? There's there's nothing in here. I didn't put any nuts and bolts in there. Didn't put any rocks in there. Um, just wanted to agitate everything a little bit. Um, just give it good hard shake. Um, so that's all I've done. I let it sit, and um, that's all it is. So let it sit. Shook it up and now we will take a good look and see what it is. See how it looks. So that's why it's a little foamy, obviously. It's from good shaking. Guess you won't really be able to tell until I pour it out. So let's, uh, I'll take the first peek, make sure it works before I show it to you. <laughs> but it looks pretty good. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this out real quick. See if you can maybe see the, I'll pour it out over here in your view so you can see if it's really nasty or not.
Not too bad, not too crazy, but there's some crap in here that still wants to come out. I'll have to go in and rinse it. Or I might just have to do that again, depending on how it looks. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet all the way, but wow. I'd say that's pretty dang good. I can't remember if I showed you this in the beginning, but take a look at that reservoir. Let's see if we can get some of this crap. It's all that little sponge deal that's just gotten disintegrated, but let's do this again. Look at that. I think that's the same angle I got you before. That is a hundred times better. Still not perfect. It's not, you know, from the factory, obviously. But that's not what it's expected to do. I just saw that crap that, um, you know, from the tank, that sponge deal. I'll clean that out, but um, what do you think of that? I'd say that's pretty dang good. For a dollar cleaner from the dollar store, toilet bowl cleaner. What's it called? The works? I'd say that works for sure. That's pretty impressive. I'm impressed for a dollar. Wow. Like I said, all that stuff in the bottom you see right there, that, that'll just come out. That's that's what you're seeing right here in the reservoir. Just didn't come out when I dumped the, the liquid. But there you go. That's it. All the stuff on the walls, all the flakes and stuff came off. So I'm pretty impressed. Thanks, Detective, for showing me that. But I like it. I might uh, let it soak a little bit more and re agitate it. Uh, just rinse all that crap out. But for the most part, I am in pretty impressed. For a little tiller gas tank, um, that certainly will do the job for me. Well guys, that's it for my, the works, uh, toilet bowl cleaner, gas tank, redeemer, uh, experiment. And for me, I'd say that works for $3, <clears throat> excuse me, for $3 worth of product. I don't think it can be beat. Um, pour it in, let it sit, shake it up a little bit. Uh, probably would have helped to have some nuts and bolts or nuts in there. Maybe some, you know, some of those little river rocks, those round rocks, shake it in there. It would have been hard for that one. That's still got that plastic, um, you know, deal in there with all the compartments. So that would have been hard for me. But if it's a wide open uh, tank or whatever, um, dump those in there, shake them up. Definitely would have helped the final product. But overall, I'm pleased. Uh, it looks 100 times better. It's definitely going to help um, not clog the carb, not clog the pickup tube with all those rusty, uh, you know, particles and stuff. For the most part, it's going to get all that junk and stuff out of there. So um, give it a try. Next time you're at a dollar store, pick some up. Give it a try. Try it out yourself. Let me know what you think uh, down in the comments. If you've had it, if you've tried it, um, if you want to try it, if you have other things, other products that you've tried, um, cheap products. Um, I know there's tons of products out there that are meant for this kind of deal, but if you've got any kind of tips and tricks, um, you know, that you use for mom or your wife under the kitchen sink, whatever, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm curious about the, these kind of things. So if you enjoyed that vid this video, think about hitting that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, make a choice to have a great day. Thanks you all for watching.